All right, G7s. Today we're going to be continuing our number sense, talk about factors, and looking at how stockholders use math. Uh, before we need to do that, we're going to look at factor trees. We've learned what factors are. They're numbers that can be divided into uh, another number evenly. And we've talked about prime numbers. Um, and that prime numbers are numbers that don't have any other factors except the number one and itself. Uh, but we can combine those together to try to find the prime factors of a number. Um, another way to write this is, is we can see the product of primes. Now, the product of primes is uh, when we find the basic building blocks of a number. All numbers that are not prime can be built from multiplying other prime numbers together. Um, so we're going to do that, and the blocks then are those prime numbers. So the number 6 can be made from multiplying 2 times 3. 2 and 3 are both prime numbers. When we multiply them together, we get 6. Uh, 7 is prime. 8, though, can be mul multiplied 2 times 2 times 2. We can multiply a prime number together even more than once um, and find its product, the multiplication, of the prime numbers. This can be useful for lowest common multiples and other things. Um, and we're going to do that by creating a factor tree. This is one method we're going to learn, and we'll learn another one in a video coming up. But what is a factor tree? Well, let's see. What's a factor tree? Let's uh, take a number such as 24. And to create a factor tree, what we want to do is draw two lines splitting down from 24 and imagine what two numbers could we multiply together to get 24. Maybe we use 2 times 12. Okay? So we've, we've just split the number 24 into a, uh, a multiplication problem, 2 times 12. And then what we might do is we might say, well, you know what, 12 can break down a little bit further, and maybe we could think of it as 2 times 6. And again, we could think of 6 as being the same thing as 2 times 3. Now, the reason I haven't broken down 2 any further into 1 times 2 is because 2 is a prime number. We're going to stop there. Otherwise, I could just keep going 1 and 2, 1 and 2, 1 and 2 forever. And we want to stop somewhere, so we stop it the prime numbers, and we'll see that I've identified some prime numbers here, 2, 2, 2, and 3. And if I take those and rearrange them, rewrite them, okay, uh, starting with the smallest numbers first, and then the increasing larger numbers, I'll see that I get 2, 2, 2, and 3. And if I multiply those numbers together, what happens is, I get the number 24. 2 times 2 is 4. 4 times 2 is 8. 8 times 3 is 24. So what we say is that the number 24 can be written as the product of the prime numbers 2, 2, and 3. Sorry, 2, 2, 2, and 3. Okay? So that is what we mean by coming up with the product of primes. What you see right now is actually the answer if I ever ask for Please write the product of primes. This is how I should see it written, although you don't need blue and red circles. But uh, I would need to see those numbers, and your factor tree would be the work showing how that's done. Okay? So this is our product, product meaning the answer of multiplication of these prime numbers. Okay? Now, is there a right way or a wrong way to do that? Not necessarily. Some of you say, well, wait a minute, 24 isn't just... 2 times 12, it could also be thought of as 3 times 8, for example. And that's true. So let's see what happens if we try 3 times 8. 3 is a prime number, but 8 is not. I can think of 8 as being 2 times 4, and 4 is 2 times 2. So I take those same numbers. I've identified uh, the prime numbers there. I rearrange them, and I get 2 times 2 times 2, times 3, which is equal to 24. It is the exact same product of prime numbers. Okay, So it doesn't really matter which order we do it in, okay? as long as we keep breaking them down. 
Again, do not break a prime number down into one times that number. We don't do that for factor trees. Let's try another example, just to see it again, that there's many different ways. 24 isn't just 2 times 12 or 3 times 8. It could be 4 times 6. And if I do that, then my tree will look a little different because 4 can break down into 2 times 2, which are both prime numbers, and 6 can break down into 2 times 3, which are both prime numbers again. When I rearrange them, smallest to largest, again, I end up with the exact same pattern that 24, no matter how I break it down, is always three twos and one three when I multiply to get my product of primes. In our next video, we'll see some more examples of how you can do that with a few different numbers as well as a shortcut.